So I finally actually found out where the rumor of rupees 95,000 actually started. And it started exactly here. And it has been spread by department itself. No, I'm not saying that they're wrong, but listen carefully. The total monthly emolments, and for people who do not know that, that is basically salary. I also did not know. I just Googled it, power of Google. Now, after with three increments at the time of joining includes a dearness allowance, house rent allowance and transport allowance at present Mumbai rate will be approximately 95,000. Now I do understand that with time things change but back then as well the initial base pay was 56,100 and Mumbai basically why they are saying it because different cities are divided in India there will be grade A cities, grade B cities, grade C cities so Mumbai, Hyderabad would be a grade A city Kalpakkam, on the other hand, would be a great C city. They are basically going to pay you lesser of HRA and TA. HRA stands for house rent allowance. TA stands for traveling allowance. Traveling, it never made sense to me because petrol is of equal cost in Mumbai and in Kalpakkam. House rent allowance makes sense because houses for rent will be cheaper. For example, if you go to a lower rate city, then obviously, let us say in Rachi, you'll be getting the same house for, let us say, 4,000. In Bangalore, the same house would be of 12,000, 15,000. Same like, I mean, 1 BHK, 2 BHK. All right. So in Mumbai, if you are having 56,500, sorry, 56,100, and then HRA would be somewhere around 3 to 4 percent and then TA would be close to 7 percent something like that then that will be added up and even when it gets added up it is close to only 80,000 to 85,000 at max in hand if you are in a grade A city if you are in a grade C city then it will be somewhere around 60,000 every month in the joining period and also if you don't take HRA and TA and you live in quarters which is probably what you are going to be doing in the great C cities then you will not be getting anything and 56,100 will be your base pay plus the only thing that you will be getting is dearness allowance DA so that will be somewhere close to 4,000 or 5,000 now here's the thing there's something which is called NPS new pension scheme and that is just compulsory for all at least that is what we were told and then that will eradicate at least 6,000 every month. So I have seen the salary, monthly salary going as low as 52,000 or 54,000. And ask the honestly, ask honestly to the central government employees and you're going to find that. For example, ask a person who is living in Sri Aikota and just joined as a scientist C in ISRO. So there's a variation. So don't always trust this. This does not always work. And 95,000 is the ax absolute peak nobody will actually get that much and also they will be adding chss card medical health and uh, don't confuse this with your in-hand salary all right even engineering services people get the same and these things are very very true that you will be getting certain allowances after one year of your service like what we call press professional allowances these things you will be getting and the money is huge but you'll have to serve for some amount of time starts happening after generally one year of your service that is one year after your training one year after you have stayed over there as a scientific officer then you start getting and these are heavy itself for example in ISRO senior scientists do get up to like two to three lakh easily every year with these allowances on the other hand these allowances were stopped during the COVID situation. So that is also a variable and it also depends on the research output or the output in general produced by a particular department. So IPRC will be having different press and uh, let us say LPSC will be having different press or in a similar manner BARC will be having different allowance and IGCAR will be having different allowance. Specification threshold will get zero increments. Oh yeah, so it depends. The increments does matter on your performance in the training school or in this case for the mtech as well i never really cared about that but it does matter and will not be that much i know that toppers of the training school got some extra increments but it will not make that much of a difference like thousands of rupees that's it all right now they are getting into the whole selection process they're going to basically talk about the written test and the interview so let us get into that
two-step process basically the written test and the interview the interview will be independent of the written test and the final selection will be based on your interview itself the written test is just a qualifying round the selection ratio would be 1 is to 20 that means if 20 people are called for the interview only one will be selected if there are 50 seats then 50 into 20 you will be having somewhere around yeah 1000 people called for the interview okay so it is kind of official this year that they will be having training school in not only in barc ig car nfc but also in rrcat and there's another one which is amd hyderabad so this is something new dgfs of all the in the select specialization for july 2021 